Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is DNA from a C-positive D-positive bacterial strain was used to transform a C-negative D-negative strain. The following transformants were obtained. Calculate the uh, co-transformation frequency. So uh, we see uh, frequency of the transformants obtained and here is the genotype. Imagine that here we have bacterial cell and here is a circular DNA and here would be a genotype that is C positive and D positive and somewhere here bacteria phage would attach and basically what it's going to do uh, it's going to insert its own DNA that would have instructions that would uh, basically lead to destruction of the own host DNA so it would be chopped to pieces and uh, actually bacterial cell would produce many many uh, copies of the DNA of the bacteriophage and this DNA have instructions how to build uh, different parts of the bacteriophage along with uh, copies of the DNA of the bacteriophage and then this uh, DNA would be uh, packed into the head of the bacteriophage but sometimes this might happen that in the head of the bacteriophage fragments of the DNA fragments of the genome of the bacteria also would be packed uh, it is a rare event this is uh, due to some mistakes but uh, what is going to happen that uh, when this bacterial cell would burst uh, because uh, too much uh, bacteriophage would be produced and one of such bacteriophage would attach to the surface of the other uh, bacteria same strain but whose genome can be slightly different for example uh, for the gene C this bacteria may have different allele C negative and for the D positive that we can find in this bacteria this bacteria may have D negative so this is going to be the same genes but uh, probably these genes would have point mutations so would produce the same functional protein but as I said may have uh, point mutations so what is going to happen imagine now that uh, one of such bacteriophages that by mistake instead of its own uh, DNA took a fragment of the DNA of the genome of the bacteria and now this bacteriophage would insert this fragment that would contain uh, gene C positive and D positive and what might happen uh, one variant what might happen that uh, crossing over might happen here for example in this place and in this place in this case uh, we would see that this fragment would be incorporated in, into the host DNA of the bacteria and we would see C positive and D negative also uh, another variant might happen that uh, crossing over would happen here and here so in this case uh, we would have uh, this gene D positive uh, to be incorporated into the host genome and we would see uh, genotype C negative and D positive but also in some cases crossing over might happen here and here in this case both genes would be incorporated into the host uh, DNA 
and we would see genotype C positive and D positive in this bacteria strain. Now let's analyze our problem and take a look uh, what we see in the first case. Crossing over happened here and here and C positive was incorporated and this gene uh, took a place of the C negative uh, allele in the host genome. In the second case we see that uh, crossing over happened between this place and this place and the positive allele have been incorporated instead of a D negative. And in the last variant we see that crossing over happened here and here. And both genes have been incorporated into the genome of the host bacteria. This is what we call co-transformation when two genes have been incorporated into the host genome of the bacteria simultaneously. So how we can uh, calculate the frequency of such an event and this is very easy. We just have to divide 223 uh, by the total number of recombinants 300 plus 377 plus 223 and the answer would be 0 0.248 and if we need an answer in percentage form we have to multiply by 100 and the answer would be 24 0.8% and this is going to be a co-transformation frequency of the gene C and T that represented in our problem by alleles C positive and D positive and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any share this video with your classmates and see you in the next video goodbye